Hello everyone, my name is Duke James, and this is the continuation of my Castilian colonization campaign. Good times in Castile, Sibelia has become a continental art and intellectual center. We've wrestled it away from those dirty Frenchmen. They are just now a regional art and intellectual center. I sped up a little bit and played because of my aggressive expansion. I have a lot of aggressive expansion with a lot of different people around the world, so I'm not going to conquer any provinces for a little bit. And then also to compound that, I got one of those uh, unrest events that gives you a bunch of unrest for non-accepted cultures, so I just figured I'd play through that and defeat them. I fought off a couple rebellions so far. And this core will be done in like half a year, so then I'll be able to move my training capital and make a bunch of ducats. So for now, I'm essentially just waiting for these rebellions to go away and then for this core to be produced. Also, my war exhaustion was pretty high. It's decreasing now. Venice has internal conflicts. Also, Fueme. This tiny little one province minor is now four provinces. Interesting. I got a coin on nation in Guianus. So I sent colonists to over here. So they're going to get that colonial nation. This colonial nation will be done as well. And then really it's just these two colonies up here. Those two colonial nations up here. Which the trade doesn't flow to me. So I, I'll probably get these but I'll get them last. And then there's La Plata and La Chile, and then if whatever one is here, I'm not sure if that's Chile as well. It looks like it. So that's just these two that have trade that can flow to me. Right now, and then those two up here. Also, I released Damascus, this province. I figured... What's going to happen is I can release them, and then these provinces are, they're all occupied by separatists, and these are all Damascus cores, so if I release Damascus, these provinces will f go to Damascus, and I'll have them as a vassal. Uh, unfortunately... Those provinces now are increasing their liberty desire. So if they take all of these through separatist defense, that's going to be massive liberty desire. I'll have to wait for that to go down. I don't think anybody's going to... Uh, support their independence. Maybe Mamluks, but I fight them anyway. Possibly the Ottomans. But I don't think that war would fire. Let's take that guy. The Ottomans declared war on Hungary. I guess they have the Ottomans have troops in They have troops over here for some reason. 
Because that territory is occupied. It's kind of weird. You'd think they'd occupy this territory first. Looks like uh, Kaibala has Tunisian Separatists, so I want to kill those guys. Don't want any more provinces defecting to Tunis. Looks like they spawned here, and then walked over, and I wasn't notified of it. Alright, Volterra is now a core. Expand the Royal Elephant Stables, persecute Bamani, blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. Order an exp yeah. Whatever. Alright, so I need three hundred and forty six dip make eight a month so that's gonna be what fifteen months something like that it's gonna be a while another advisor died All these provinces are defecting. I could placate, but I don't see any reason really to do that. I think the rebels, for the most part, have stopped. I'd like some manpower. Sienna's no longer transferring me trade power, but I don't think that should matter once I start pushing trade. The Ottomans, Achaia, England, and Moravia wants troops. I mean, I'd give troops to Hungary. But not with these rebels. I think they're broke. Yeah, they have a deficit while having loans. I had no idea Hungary was in such sad straits. The Ottomans have a ton of men running around, so they're probably going to win this. Of course, now it's shifted to negative five. Papal State declares war on Valentino. Alright, 
Do 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 do. Yep. So I'm just waiting for this to. Not well. No, I already have the corn in there. I'm waiting for 346 dip. I think what I'm gonna do. Oh shit. Yeah, there's some problem with uh, these troops in India. As you can see, this is very weird. Kind of a... Uh, makes it hard to look at the map. I think what I'm going to do is just attack Madurai and take provinces from them. They do have a bunch of vassals, but they have high liberty desire. So I think attacking Madurai and weakening them... I think I'm going to take territory from Madurai and their vassals at the same time. Because their vassals won't have... They won't be able to join a coalition while I have a truce with Madurai and their vassal, so... But I don't want to take too many provinces from Madurai and have them break away and then they join the coalition. But I don't want to attack them and then have them become... Take provinces from them and then have them become loyal. All of these provinces are going to Damascus. If they take all of these provinces through revolts, that's uh, it's gonna be like a thousand looted desire. I'm sorry, the Valladolid debate. As the treatment of native of the native population in our colonies has become the subject of great debate among the Castilian intellectuals. Some priest made himself the spokesman of the natives and demanded that we recognize their free will to receive Christ rather than force them into slavery and compelled conversions. So I could get... If I do Las Casas reasoning, there'd be reduced missionary strength, global settler increase, and tolerance of heathens, but Sepulveda's teaching, reasoning, gives me global tariffs for 10 years, and missionary strength... Missionary strength and negative tolerance of heathens. I'll take the, uh, the income, sure. Let's divert trade from those guys. I'm gonna make these cores. Alright, that's all my province is about to be cored. Venice is the paper controller. They excommunicated Padua. Doesn't really matter to me. That was a 346. So unfortunately, I'm going to be over my relations limit because I do have a an advisor that gives me plus one relations limit. So because I released Damascus, I'm not going to be nine out of eight relations. I also wanted to ally Bengal so that I could prevent them from getting a ton of aggressive expansion. Oh, no. Whoops, I did, uh, naval supplies in Cadiz. I just chose the bottom option because I'm so used to that. That's fine, I'll leave it. A 
think they would accept an alliance. They would accept an alliance, but their unreformed Indian states can only ally other powers if they share a border or have the same culture group. Alright then. Never mind. And I can't attack Huntawadi unless I fight Meme. And I don't want to do that, so I can't get that province. And Orissa is their vassal. Next, I could take one of Matarai's provinces all the way over here. This province does border them. I assume this province borders them as well. But they're also a vassal of Matarai, so I have to fight Matarai either way. Let's call him back. Get that diplomat back on outraged other outraged countries. Alright, couple months and I can move my trading port. And start transferring trade. And I'm either gonna make 200 ducats a month or I'm gonna make 10 ducats a month. There's no in between. I'm expecting to make a bunch of money. I hope I make a bunch of money. Otherwise, all of this was for nothing. I can't see how I don't make at least... Well, let's see, I'm making 50 right now. I'm making 53 trade right now, so I expect at least, like, 100 ducats? Lesser nobles demand privilege. They want tax rate. That's fine. Wait, no, I don't want you guys to promote. They tricked me. They asked for tax rate, but they actually just promoted. That was tricky. Tricky lesser nobles. They're not giving me manpower, which is worrying me. I guess it's... My assumption is because... It's not... It hasn't been 10 years since I last demanded it, but... I feel like it's been more than 10 years. Uh, Ignacio de Loilo Loyola. 25 in men power and uh, theologian. Alright. Yeah, they're gonna grab all of this territory. The Mamluks are just powerless to um, do anything. Now there's Shiite fanatics as well. Alright, let's uh, change our trading ports. Actually, I'm going to do it to uh, Pimbino. I don't think there's any difference. But I'll do it anyway. Alright, 49.93 ducats right now. Let's have everybody switch, switch to transferring. You collect, you transfer.
16 ducats. It's gotta be more than that, right? Hopefully it's more than that. Please be more than that. No, it's actually 16 ducats. I imagine it's because I don't... don't have the majority trade power here. These guys should be protecting. They can protect as well. Send those guys from India as well. Sweating sickness spreads through Sibelia. Let's pay the ducats. I suppose what I could do is go back to collecting. Maybe if I collect from here. But I think if you collect in two ports, then it reduces your trade power in all your provinces, so... We'll see. Back to 40. Sienna, do you want to transfer trade power back to me? Absolutely not. What's my aggressive expansion? Because I could attack Genoa. I'd fight Milan and France. That'd be a pretty big war. I don't think there's any way I could get them to transfer trade power to me. I'll think about it. I'll think about it in between parts and try to figure out something else to do. Some way to uh, increase my trade power more in this node. The obvious thing is uh, annexing Aragon, but I can't do that until I have 70 centralization. And my limit's 55, so that'll be sometime in the future, but I'll, I'll figure it out. So I'm going to end this part here, and then pick up the next part. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.